Winning numerous international awards for documentaries, including an Oscar, this PG-13 rated picture was released in the summer of 2009. Filmed on a meager budget of 1.1 million, director Louis Saihaios takes us deep inside the controversial dolphin hunting practices of a secret cove near a coastal fishing village in Japan. Although mercury poisoning is harming the locals and the fishing practices are brutal, excessive, and barbaric, an entire economy seemingly relies on the meat of thousands and thousands of dead dolphins. Told from an ocean conservationist's point of view, this 87-minute feature paints a grippingly disturbing story that is impossible to look away from. The unavoidable truths and horrors uncovered via secret photography, night vision, and undercover surveillance absolutely demand attention. Well-framed interviews are littered throughout, with Rick O'Berry, a former dolphin trainer for the popular TV series Flipper, the most prominent figure featured. The highlight of the fast-moving picture is a harrowing sequence where Louie's team risks being captured as they sneak into the cove after dark to plant the hidden cameras used to capture the movie's most incredible footage. The music, editing, and suspense is ramped up considerably here in what feels like a wonderfully executed scene from a James Bond caper. We came to realize that this was going to be a much longer process, so we utilized our time over there doing reconnaissance, planning, we observed. There's two crews that went in last night. The guys that come out of the tunnel, they're, they're, they're sent to look on the left side. They're, they're shining their flashlights around. They go pretty quick. They want to get to work and start out. What they're doing is they're looking for little snap branches. They normally go up there when they have dolphins in the lagoon. They go up and check it out to see if anybody's photographed. What I'm saying is we go in there. Maybe I use that location that has the branch and I cut the branch on a night when there's no dolphins. The activists featured are dedicated and passionate individuals, and a direct call to action at film's end shares how to get involved and help, with Barry remarking rather unequivocally, if you aren't an activist, you're an inactivist. Occasionally, though, this usually fresh narrative resorts to tired ambush gimmicks, like cornering a dissenting interviewee, or brandishing an outlandish stunt at the annual International Whaling Commission meeting. Laced with dozens of crucial interview subjects, raw and uncomfortable footage, and plenty of cold hard data and facts, the case against the dangerous and terrible fishing practices within the cove is a powerful one. Although the narrative is terribly one-sided and ostentatious in its presentation, it's difficult for anyone to witness the graphic images of an ocean dyed red from the blood of hundreds of dying dolphins and remain unconvinced or apathetic. As is unfortunately the nature of expose-style pictures, the story remains open-ended, offering only partial conclusions to the hopeless situations. The Cove. Grandstanding presentation, but thrillingly convincing. Now let's see what you had to say about this documentary in the YouTube comments. The rate matic for The Cove, a double nine. You called this an emotional, suspenseful, and uncomfortable movie, but an important one, too. You thought it was awesome. Perhaps a bit too forceful with its approach, this was a masterfully crafted documentary that shines a light on a depressingly tragic situation few were familiar with before. I, too, thought it was awesome. 